colors. Yeah, we'll pour some with new. The thing is, they're very, very light. Yeah. So you get a better pour if you have a variation of color. Um, so we will vary. Let's use some pink. So what's that first one? So this is acrylic, my acrylic. So you want about one part acrylic to four parts um, pouring medium. Now that said, I don't ever measure it um, really. I just squirt it. Process. I mean, I, I just squirt it. Um, if your paint's really old, if you haven't used it in a while, it's not going to pour very well. It's not going to mix very well. So you're much better off using fresh paint, for sure. And one more color. Let's do turquoise. And so you can, the little cups are for sale? Like yep. The cups, the cups come with a few little spoons. And then I, I don't recommend washing the cups. This stuff will stick for hours and days and never remove, be removed in your pipes. So what I do is when I pour, I set these out on my desk, I let them dry, and then I just use them again. Okay. Um, I have a mason jar that I do for dirty pours. It's a smaller mason jar. Okay. And it's completely covered and it will not even come off all the pouring it's stuff. So it's, it's a little muddy now because I've done so many colors in it, but at the beginning it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, you okay if I go live? You can, yeah. You can. Okay. So then, what I what, after you get your assortment, and you're going to add pouring medium. I'm mixing quite a bit because I'm going to do quite a few pours. So if you were just going to do one, uh, you would need a quarter of this, a quarter if that. that. But the thing is, you can't just do one. <laughs> <laughs> So there's pour. Then you want cell creator. Um, this is what helps the little cells, the little dots appear. And I've experimented with different quantities. Kathy only uses one drop. Um, if you use a lot, um, the, the cells are smaller. If you use one, the cells are bigger. So I'll, I'll vary it here. And then go ahead and stir. They are. Yeah. So I just missed the beginning. So you put the, your paints inside the new ones. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't do all the new ones. I did oh. one new one. Oh. Because when you pour, if you only pour with those colors, it's not going to be that pretty because they're all those colors are exactly the same tone. In order to have a good, interesting pour, you need lights and darks, just like any painting would need. So. And I've learned, just like I like my white space, that I like to start with a bed of white. I just do. So I'll probably mix white again in a minute. Um, Kathy was telling me that if you do have an older paint and it won't mix very well, you're, it's kind of lumpy. How she got hers to mix was she put it in one of the little jars, one of these. These are for sale too. And she put, and she put a ball bearing from Diane's white ink in there because she saves them. She finds them on the factory floor all the time and just shook it and it and it mixed everything. So if you didn't have a ball bearing, you could probably do a pebble and then smart. get it. It's a beautiful mustard. So when, the, when I first started testing this stuff, um, I just fell in love and I told Ranger, you're, you're really going to need to because like, he saw that I used almost this whole thing um, just for this. I said, with the kind of stuff I want to pour, I need a gallon. And then, sure enough, uh, FedEx showed up one day with a gallon of pouring medium. Do you need to sell it in the gallon? I don't know. No, um, you could request it. I sent him an email. It. Did you? Yeah. It's nice. It doesn't dilute the color. Like It, doesn't it, it will if you don't use enough color. Oh, I see. It's like, all about... It's all about proportion. Because if you do in a class, it's 
hard to do it. Yeah, we need definitely need to do an education gallon. <laughs> definitely. Ooh. So um, there's a store in um, out of Kansas City, and she they do little they pre mix colors in these, and they've been selling sets with these pre mixed. Um, with some substrates in there and stuff, and they, they she can't keep them. She can't keep them. Yeah, that's so smart. Yeah. yeah. And they do themes like metallic or um, I don't know. I, I was like, that is such a good idea. And it's not that hard to mix a huge quantity of it, and then they have a funnel. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna start with is just a standard pour. And so I am going to start with an all-white base. You don't have to, but uh, because I'm Dina. I'm use my business card, I guess. <laughs> oh. Don't waste a beautiful business card. Well, I'll make more. It's not a waste. Nothing's ever a waste. Okay. Incorporating with your journal. So it's almost like I'm frosting a cake with white. Now I don't always start this way, but lately I've really liked the way my pores have turned out when I start this way. Okay. So is this white thicker than the other piece or is it the same consistency? In the pouring medium? Yes. It's thinner. It's thinner. Yeah, so you can pour it. And then I'm going, instead of doing a dirty pour, I'm just gonna start So, I mean, you could leave it like that. It's sort of boring now, right? Um, where the interest comes is when you start pulling color. And then your cells start to pull. So then the cells, cells will start forming. Do you see them there? Mm -hmm. And so color theory does apply in pouring. However, it applies in a different way mm -hmm. because you can mix some opposites before they turn muddy. If you stir them up too much, they'll mud. But if you just do um, little bits, they won't. So it's kind of nice to, to have some opposites happening in there. Now, and I think pouring is a little bit like gel printing because in gel printing, it's very easy to make backgrounds. And in pouring, backgrounds are simple. You can make a million backgrounds. I think the challenge in pouring is creating a finished piece, a composed painting, right? Um, and so I am gonna do a pouring class this year in my rotation, and I'm going to be focusing not on backgrounds, but I'm gonna be focusing on how to compose a finished painting. Because again, backgrounds are a cinch to make, right? So generally what I'll do is I'll do one pour like that, and then I will set it aside to dry. And so you're using that new um, board, hard board? No, that's Tim's. This oh, is okay. my media board. Oh, this is yeah, your Yeah, but that would pour okay. awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on some of that for pouring. Okay, okay so then a dirty pour. I'm gonna, I just love my white start. I won't start everything with white, but a few I will. I'm gonna go ahead and spread my base again. I have some extra color on that, which is fine. Then, a dirty pour is when you, I'm gonna mix one more color, hold on. I'm gonna mix a little bit of I'm 
Okay. Dirty pour, baby. In one cup, you're gonna load color. Because the viscosities don't encourage instant mixing, um, they stay separate. Until oh, wow. <laughs> that happens. And what I love about a dirty pour is it's so serendipitous that you <laughs> you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, baby. <laughs> I mean, you don't get upset. Yeah, sometimes you're like, ooh. Um, I, I actually quite like that one. That's yeah. really nice. Um, we're going to set that aside to dry. Could you add another layer, like let's say pour again? Yes. I pour on them over and over right. and over again. I let them dry halfway and I pour on them again. Oh, okay. So you have to let And then I will let the pour start sitting. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, I will. I will let the pour sit for a while and then I'll drag a card through it. Oh my God, this sells and, amazing. And then it changes even more. So, if you want to do a dirty pour on the whole piece, oh, and then look at this. Do you see it inside? Do you see how it's, so this will stick to plastic, metal, your fingernails, your cuticles. Um, it sticks to your life. This is why, please don't um, wash it. Please don't put, if you're going to rinse it, do it outside. And you just throw the cups, huh? Well, you want to reuse it as much as you can. <sighs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. If you're looking for the tricky trader to exchange your voucher for the drop-in tickets, okay. I, yeah. I, I was going to ask about wasting paint. It really stresses me out to waste props. Why? We'll make minutes. more. Be present. Oh, no, I know. Don't it's not wasted. Nice no, spot. when you're doing that. for some amazing demonstrations. They're going on all day long. Have fun out there. Isn't that cool? That looks like uh, ge this looks geological, don't mm -hmm. you think? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to get those corners. Oh, thank you. We'll just force it. <laughs> we'll just force it right there. Okay. I'm just gonna put that there. This one's hecka cool. Mm -hmm. So one of my current favorite things to do is to start with white. Okay, that was that one was Yeah. Oh look at that right there. I just wonder what she can pick that up and put it somewhere. Um you can so Carolyn Doobie put, did a video where she was sticking her gel plates in the in her surplus superfluous pores, letting it dry, so probably a day. And then she it would pull off like a skin. Wow. So you could do that. Um, I stick my chipboard shapes in those pieces. Or what I'll do is I'll put my chipboard shapes down here where it's going to drip. Oh, I see. And then just let it get colored. Okay, so I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, so then I'll take my leftover dirty pour because there's always some residue in there. It's flatter. Cool. That looks cool. Isn't that great? Oh. Don't you want to marry that one and have its babies? Now, <laughs> when you look at the differences, you see why I like to start with white. Yep. Because that's the background. Whereas these are more like art. art. So let me show you what that looks like when you drag it again. So sometimes after I let this dry for a bit, I'll take a card, drag it a different direction, and then the cells will reform. You see them popping up? Mm -hmm. 
magic. It's magic. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Let's drag this one. I can't leave them alone at home. Oh. And then um, one of the things that I do too is Ooh. is I keep um, I keep night pouring medium mixed in one of these. Let me do it real quick because we need a little funnel. What do you mean by night pouring medium? Sure. I'm like thinking you're getting up in the middle of the night and pouring something. <laughs> that's, what you think. that's what I remember. You know night's one of my pink colors, right? Yeah. Oh. Yes, I did know now, but I was imagining you actually getting up on the night to add some more. I definitely have too much in there. I did know I actually And you know, in my area, 30 is like, we don't even know what a is. That's like here. Yeah. Yeah, we had a couple really cold weeks. We were all dying. No, they, they, they were wrapping plants and um, stuff. It's pouring medium. We put Christmas lights on our bushes and then throw a sheet over them and it keeps them alive. <laughs> and it's pretty, too. Because we have stuff here that can't stand, can't do freezes. Our, it'll kill our citrus trees. And um, bougainvilleas and stuff like that. And then Christmas lights give up. And yeah, they warm it up, and then the, you put a sheet over it or a blanket, and it helps keep your plants alive. Yeah. One time it froze overnight though, and we didn't have any warning. It was like a fluke, and everybody we have giant trees that we lost. Just yeah. Well, that's what we do in Canada. Mm -hmm. and so it's uh, acrylic paint. So this is a medium that you mix with acrylic. So it's you do like four parts pouring medium. You do one part paint, and then you do a drop or two of Cell Creator. That's this stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm still on my original prototype Cell Creator, Just even drops. with my gallon, because you only need a drop of that. Yeah. So this the little, though, the little one cell, I mean the kit, right? Yeah. Come together, the yeah. Okay. So what's nice about this is then if you do have something that maybe needs a focal point a little bit. Oh, don't do that. Open. Yeah. <laughs> As I can then draw on it. So by adding night or something dark, I'm uh, helping it have a focal point, right? I love to scoop this stuff up yeah. and just flick it in things. That's why sometimes I ruin stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I should have done it. Let's do. Are those little canvases or are they paper? It's a, it's a media board, one of my products. It's canvas stuck to chipboard. You, can't, you can pour on anything, but if you pour on um, paper or like canvas that is not glued down, it warps it and then your pour doesn't stay like that. You need a rigid surface. Tim's new hardboard pieces would pour really good. This media board pours nice. The nice thing about the media board is when these are dry, I can pick the canvas off. That's what I did to this one. I picked the canvas off, so let's say that had a pour on it. Well now, I can sew on that, I can make it into a book cover, I can fold it in half, I can cut shapes out of it, I can run it through a dye machine. I, you know, see what I'm saying? So, Kathy from Ranger figured that out, that you can separate the canvas, but don't separate it till you pour. Pour first, and then, and then separate. Can you do that. a second pour after on the... Yeah. Yeah, you can. Um, this, I think this one looks very octopus. It looks so very cool. suckery, yeah. doesn't it? It's yeah. beautiful. Oh, it's awesome. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. 
it's in that little cup. Same thing. The same white. stuff. Uh -huh. this, the, it, so all of the cups are mixtures of pouring medium and acrylic and cell creator. When you put it in the bottle, will it dry out? It or? doesn't. That's a yummy color. Olive. One of the best colors ever. Drop here or there. <laughs> sure. Look at the white mixing here. Yeah, a lot of questions that I get are like, how long will it take to dry? And um, it just depends on where you live. Um, the ones that I did, I, I poured a bunch for the designer challenge. It actually took a really long time because I had poured on them so much um, that, that it, you know, usually in Arizona, within a short time, they're starting to set for me. Um, but I had done so many layers on those that it just was not a quick not a quick thing. Those are pretty cool, eh? This is why, you know, you 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 do it you don't just pour one. There's even a heart forming in it. Yeah. Let's pour on this guy. It looks like a rose in the corner. Wow. Let's do a dirty pour on him. stamp on this after? Yeah, with archival. archival. Um, you can write on it also. Really? Cool. With a paint pen. Yeah, so. This is cool because you can incorporate it into your journal. Yeah. Then it's a... Wow, I want that. Let's do another one.